Today we are going to talk about the coordinate plane and introduce you to slope. So first we have a little bit of vocabulary. The coordinate plane is the perpendicular union of two number lines. at their zeros, which we call the origin. The x-axis is the horizontal number line in the coordinate plane. And the y-axis is the vertical number line in the coordinate plane. Ordered pairs are the x and y solutions to a given problem When we're graphing ordered pairs, they're called a coordinate for a point. So another name for an ordered pair is called coordinates for a point. And it looks like that. An ordered pair has an x value and a y value inside parentheses. So the x coordinate is going to be the first value in the ordered pair. And that x coordinate will map to that location on the horizontal number line or the x-axis on and again that's the x-axis okay the y-coordinate is the second value in the ordered pair and that maps to that location on the vertical number line which remember is the y-axis. The origin is the location where the x and y axis meet. The location where x and y axis meet or intersect. The coordinates of the origin are 0, 0 because remember the number lines intersect at their zeros. So another name for the origin or the coordinates for the origin is 0, 0. A quadrant um, is one of the four regions into which the coordinate plane is divided. And slope, we represent by the letter M, so slope is M, and that is the ratio of change between two points on a number line. 
you are going to see slope often um, denoted by rise over run. The slope is going to be a fraction and the rise tells us where to go up and down, over run tells us left to right. So M is the slope and we um, denote that by rise over run. Now on this coordinate plane down here we are going to label a couple of things. Um, first we will label the quadrants. So remember the quadrants is one of those four regions um, into which the coordinate plane is divided. And coordinate starts with a C and that is actually the direction that we will number our coordinate plane. So we start up here, that's quadrant one, and then I just follow a C to number the rest. So one, two, down here will be three, and there is four. We use Roman numerals to number the quadrants. So first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth. Now the origin was another um, important point, and that is where those two number lines, or the x-axis and the y-axis, intersect. So I'm going to label this the origin, and remember the coordinates to the origin are zero, zero. My x value is zero here, and my y value is zero. Okay, and I'm going to plot a point down here in the third quadrant. To find the coordinates of this point, I'm going to use the x value first and then the y value. So the coordinates to this point are negative one, right, so that's my x coordinate, and negative three, which is my y coordinate. So I have an ordered pair, negative one, negative three. Negative one tells me my x value or the value on the horizontal number line and negative three tells me my y value or the value on that vertical number line. When we're talking about slope, we can have four different types of slope. Slope can be positive and that can be any slope. It is positive if the slope is increasing from left to right or going up from left to right. Slope can be negative a negative slope would be a slope that is falling from left to right. Slope can be zero, and a zero slope would just be a horizontal line. Okay, if my slope is zero, all of the points on that line have the same y values. That will be important to remember. We can also have an undefined slope. An undefined slope would be a vertical line and all of the points on this line have the same x values. If we look at the undefined slope you will notice um, since all of these points or all of these ordered pairs on this line have the same x values. Um, the line that I just drew, all of the x values would be negative 2, so it would be negative 2, some number, all along negative 2, some number. So since all of those ordered pairs have negative 2 in the x value, you will recall that this is not a function since my x values are repeating. Okay, now if you flip over your paper, we will um, go over example one. Okay, um, if I start at the point two, negative three, and I use the slope one half to graph my next point, I'm going to first plot this point two, negative three, two, negative three, I went to the right two and then found negative three on the y-axis. So there's my point that is in the fourth quadrant, one, two, three, four. 
2, negative 3, my slope is 1 half or rise over run. That tells me to go up 1 and to the right 2. And then I plot my next point. I can do that again from this point, up 1 to the right 2, rise over run. This is the same thing as negative 1 over negative 2. So I can also go down 1 and left 2 to get my next point. So if I start here at 2, negative 3, I can go down 1 or, or and left 2, down 1 and left 2. When I connect all of those points, now I have a line. So we plot the point, use slope, the fact that it is rise over run, to get to your next point, and then you can connect your points with a line. Okay, you try one, you're going to start with the point one, negative two, and you're going to use the slope two over negative three, or negative two thirds. You try two, you will use the point, the origin, so look at the front um, to remind yourself where that ordered pair should be if your point is the origin and your slope is positive one third. Go ahead and pause your video and you, you try one and two and resume your video to work on example two. Okay, for example two, we have a slope with a whole number. Okay, my point is negative 4, 1. I will plot that by going left 4, or finding negative 4 on my horizontal number line, and positive 1, or up 1. That point is in the second quadrant, 1, 2, 3, 4. I am using the slope of 3. How can I write 3 as a fraction I can write 3 over 1, and that's because we can write any whole number as a fraction over 1. So this is rise over run, so it tells me to go up 3 and then write 1. So I will go up 1, 2, 3, write 1. This is the same thing as negative 3 over negative 1, so I could also go down 3 and left 1. So I'm going to start from this negative 4, 1, go down 1, 2, 3, and to the left 1. 1, 2, 3, to the left 1. Okay, I will connect those, or those points with my line. Okay, for you try 3, use the point 1, negative 1, and your slope is 2. So pause the video, try that graph, and then resume the video to talk about example three. Okay, example three is a special case when we have a slope of zero. Um, you will learn more about Hoy and Vux next time. Okay, if I start with the point three, two, I'm gonna go ahead and plot that point three on the x axis and two on the y. That is in the first quadrant. If my slope is zero, that's the same thing as writing zero over one. That is telling me I am going up zero and write one, or this is the same as negative zero over negative one, which would tell me down zero and left one. So I start from my point, I'm going up zero, so I'm not rising, but I'm going right one, up zero, right one, up zero, right one. Okay, if I go down zero and left one, then I can graph my points to the left. Okay, it will go on and on.
So that is a special case if your slope is zero. For u try four, use the point four, zero, and a slope of zero to graph your points. Start at the point four, zero, use a slope of zero, pause the video, try that, and come back for example four. Example four is another special case. Um, this is VUX. Um, this is where your slope is undefined. So if you start at the point negative one, negative two, I find that by going to negative one on the x-axis and negative two on the y-axis. My coordinates are negative one, negative two. My slope is undefined. Now, the zero slope was zero over one. An undefined slope will be some number over zero. If we tried to divide any number by zero using the TI-84s, it will come up with an error message because we can't divide by zero. So this is still, we can use rise over run. Okay, that tells me I will go up or down, depending on if it's negative and I will not go any left or right. Okay, my run will be zero. So if I do that, if I go, let's use one. Up one and left or right zero. Up one, left or right zero. Okay, we can continue that and it works the same in the negative direction. Okay, I will connect those with a line and that is a vertical line. Again, you will go over hoi and vux more in depth in the next set of notes. But for right now, um, if you have an undefined slope, you're still using rise over run, um, but you're just going up or down the number of spaces and left or right zero. So you're not moving left or right. Okay, and last, you try five is negative three, one, and your slope is undefined. So go ahead and graph that point, use the slope to graph the rest of the line, and then please input or complete your knowledge check. Uh, don't forget to write any additional questions that you might have for next class in this box.